this is introductions. Hey, people of the world. So this is the third episode of Being Fine in Philly. And today we have with us is Deepwater Fish. Lizard and Zadia. Lizard is being a spectator in this conversation for today. <laughs> for tonight. She's over there. Oh. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah it's all reversed. Yeah, anyways, anyways. it's called mirrored, not reversed. Anyway. Okay, Yo, what Can the heck? I'm, I'm sorry. There we go. Anyways, what the point, that the point we're trying to reach today in today's conversation is very... It's a very philosophical topic of being real and what is awareness. Abstract as it can it's get. also, yeah, as abstract as it can get. And you may have very defined uh, concepts of what is reality and what if, uh, what is actually being aware. Scientifically, awareness is defined as being. Go on. <laughs> anyways, awareness scientifically is being defined as perceiving your environmental stimulation or changes in your environment. Which might not always be true. You could, like, as for example, people with phantom limbs experience environmental changes in their phantom limbs which do not exist physically. So how, how does that happen? But that is just one of the examples. So today, Zedi is going to tell us all about, or try and explain us what reality and awareness is all about. Here we go. Alright, so... Um we tried to record this before. Uh, this is so irrelevant information. You don't need to up, know this. Shut up. I'm just trying to say that it's going to be hard to restate all of the things that I've already stated. But, so we're trying to... You should be in the video too. Can you come in? Yes. I feel yeah. lonely. Okay. All right. I'm here. So, <laughs> so I'm trying to describe uh, what awareness is versus consciousness. In my head which is probably a pretty lonely place, um, awareness is a very pure concept. It is not dependent on what you're aware of. It is not dependent on your physical body. It is not dependent on your psyche. It is not dependent on the uh, objects of sensation. It is solely dependent on the fact that you're aware. So I am saying that awareness is something separate from manifestation, from existence. I like manifestation better but um quick question what is man manifestation of what manifestation of uh, physical appearances or 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 substance or sensations okay manifestation something is manifesting we don't know what the hell it is but you know we're does we're observing does it. response to stimuli stimuli count as manifestation both response and uh stimulus uh are uh Manifestations? Manifestations, yes. Of the physical world. Of the physical world. Okay. So I am saying that there is something, if we could call it a thing, which is not a thing, it is no thing, that is aware of all of these things that are manifesting as, say, in the human experience at least, as emotions or thoughts or um, physical objects, whatever. Whatever you might be observing is being observed from some place that not many humans uh, are capable of tapping into. So consciousness is what I would define as a manifestation. Existence itself is consciousness. Consciousness has layers, colors, um, tastes. Uh, it has a lot of flair. Uh, but it is not the same thing as awareness because awareness is what is aware of whatever is manifesting. A manifestation itself is necessary for um, consciousness to exist in a way because what are you going to be aware of if there's nothing to be aware of? Um, Nafis has been uh, trying to drill in this point that there is such a thing as collective awareness and uh, I have been trying to correct him <laughs> saying that collective awareness doesn't exist. She thinks she's always right. I do, I do. Sorry, I am always right, but whatever. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what a PI thinks as well, just so you know. Well, I, did you just compare me to your PI? No, I thought I, that's what your PI thinks as well. Oh, my PI? Yeah, all right, I was being sarcastic. If you don't right, understand sarcasm, right, then shut up, shut I think up, there's shut a point saying Let's not go, yeah, go back. Okay, all right, whatever. So, this is going to be public one. <laughs> yeah. Do not talk about your PI or YouTube. All right, so... <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? Why did you interrupt me? Okay, so the question arises, Zedia, that you previously, tonight, 
earlier tonight you actually described awareness as being something which is just the fact that you are aware of your environmental change or change in like or your stimuli change period yeah. yeah okay awareness as being aware or like the fact the statement in itself that you are aware of um change right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you said that there is there's only individual awareness there is nothing yes. called collective individual awareness, awareness um, would you care to like explain, explain? Yes. yes expand on that <laughs> so so in the all right so the the conversation got here from me challenging nafisa's existence i said how can i prove or how can i know that you exist how do i know if you're not a figment of my imagination and i'm saying that there is no way to know there is no way to know even if like my finger exists even though i have all these sensations in it there is no way that i could prove this to myself to whatever uh, awareness that i have i could not prove that something exists outside of that awareness all i can say is that i am aware of something but i cannot really explain to anyone else or to myself maybe um that this thing actually exists i am aware of it something exists something is manifesting but nonetheless i cannot prove what it is what it looks like um i mean if you think about it in scientific terms we know that um colors that you see are just um your brain somehow um processing information from process- your retinal cells exactly your your eyes process frequencies uh it it they turn it into your brain turns it into some form of uh understandable uh tangible Image. tangible color and that's what we call color color doesn't really exist uh outside of your mind but you know we use color to explain a certain certain kind of experience and obviously evolution has led up to this so what i'm saying is that um whatever is manifest in the world uh has nothing to do with awareness itself that awareness is something completely separate from scientific definitions or philosophical definitions that it is solely about being aware of something else so your awareness is never uh the same thing as consciousness which is the manifestation of uh maybe dna of your code of um the way uh your um and this is very hard and any word that comes into my mind it sounds way too religious to say but um it's like it's basically a representation of causality whatever has led up to this point in physical manifestation defines what you experience defines what i think uh nafis is trying to describe as collective awareness which i would name collective consciousness not collective awareness because i don't believe that uh such a thing as collective awareness exists because awareness is something that only a single point of existence could have if we could call it a point um i don't know does that Uh, well before i begin my counter questions. argument yeah, before yeah. i begin my counter argument i'd like to ask you could you redefine awareness one more time all right okay let me I give you a let me give you a simpler version is awareness being on the sideline and observing yes awareness is the witness of whatever is happening but that's not going to mean much to people that are watching this so i would say that awareness is the thing that knows that you feel a certain way or that your finger is tingling or that so is the fact that you perceive certain changes in the environment or that you perceive change it's perceive just change, awareness yeah. equals the fact or the truth or the statement that you perceive change is that what you're saying no then what are you saying <laughs> well i'm i'm trying to explain it yeah you know, i'm no but i mean according it, to your very difficult to from your from your arguments logically i derive i mean yeah, i arrive yeah, at yeah i the know point. i know we're working off of logic right now and we're trying our best to come up with a clear definition 
But here's the thing. Uh, awareness implies uh, that there is a thing to be aware of, right? Which is change. Which is change in okay. some form, one form or another. Well, whatever it is, it's change. Right, whatever okay. it is, it's change. Um, and um, I guess maybe, maybe I could say that awareness is prior to existence. Awareness is prior to change. That change is something that happens within awareness. But awareness is not entangled with the change. 